Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the plan's new 2024 release. Before I get started on the planners, I wanted to show you these adorable note cards. These are in all of their new cover designs. So there, I think there's seven different options for this. They're $48 and you get 40 cards and 40 envelopes. They're four by six. So cute. Really, really great quality. Highly recommend if that's something that you want to add to your collection. Okay. Now to the main event, let's start talking about the plan. So Lauren has two different planners. There is the plan and the simple plan. And as you can tell, the simple plan is much smaller than the plan. The plan is kind of that planner that has everything you could possibly want in it. They do have this white plastic coil. I love a white coil. The bigger the planner gets, the more like movable, flimsy, I guess you could say that the coil is, although it's still really great quality and holds the planner together really well. Here's a sneak peek before I get started, but there are two color options this year. I am in love with their new like periwinkle, lavender, new tabs, but here are the different ones. So you have the plan and the simple plan for 2024. Let's go through them now. So most of the things inside of them are the same in the front pages. She has a welcome to the plan and the plan key. So within this planner, there are a lot of different sections that she has to fill out. And these first pages basically just go through how you need to do it. It has a lot of prep work, which I am someone who absolutely loves prep work. And I'm just kind of peeking back and forth to see the different colors. So within this color scheme, the more lavender color scheme, the blue one, you will have more blue in the planner, where in the other one with the pink tabs, there's just a little bit more pink. So you can kind of choose which color scheme you look like more. I find that the blue is a little bit more neutral. It leans a little gray, which is something that I know a lot of people love and will lean towards. So you have the big plan. This is where you put your plans for the next 10, five, three, and one year, kind of where you want to see yourself in that time. She has meal prep in these, which is so incredible. And the meal prep is very similar in both of these. So you can see the pink versus the blue. So cute. I'm not sure if you would call this blue or purple. It's kind of in between those two. She has a let's get organized and this is a monthly organization plan. She has this worked throughout her planner and I love it. So you can put different things you want to organize in each month and different areas of your house. She does offer some ideas to those, but you can put your own in too. Dates to remember. I love that she puts in the major holidays and then leaves room for you to write in birthdays or anniversaries or different big events that you want to remember throughout the year. And then you have a password section, tons of room to write passwords, and then notes pages at the beginning of this. So one, two, three, four. The paper in this is really, really nice. We'll go through it at the end. It is really great quality for most pens. And here is the monthly view. I love her monthly view. I love the adorable icons that she puts in. And of course, in this bluish one, the icons are that color. And in the pink one, you will see more of the pink brought in. If you're a pink fan, this is definitely a planner for you. She has a lot of pink throughout the planner and it's really cute. But I personally am totally drawn towards this more blue color scheme. And you can see up here under the month that every month she has an organized your and then she has some ideas. So refrigerator and pantry are what she recommends for January. You have reoccurring events section here and also a notes section. I do love the idea of having a reoccurring events section so that you don't have to write those things in every single week when you have them over and over again. Her Saturday and Sunday are combined and they're combined in a more interesting way than a lot of planners. So we'll go through that in a section in a sec. Um, the weekly meal plan is always at the beginning of the week. And then you have, this is their daily layout. So you have like time section, to-do list, place to put in your meals and your HT, 
H2O intake, your water, your fitness, and then red line items. So those are your top, basically your top three things that you need to get done during the day. And I love that her weekly meal prep includes a healthy recipe, and they're, the ones I've tried are delicious. So here are the weeks, and this one obviously has more of that blue to it. In the other one, the pink version, you will get a lot more pink. So, oh my gosh, that one looks good. Roasted vegetable quiche. And then, yeah, it just reoccurs like that throughout the month. And then at the end of the month, you will have a place to go over your goals that you've planned. And so you can kind of review these different areas of life and what you want to work on with the next month goes into the next month, you again have your holidays really small small, and then your new organized yours. So like I showed you, the first one was refrigerator and pantry. This month is different with kitchen cabinets and I love that. So the next one would be outdoor areas and then garage. So it's just a really great idea. And of course these are pink. I mean, sorry, they're blue in this one. I love it. All right, I want to show you a weekend page. So she has this. This is Saturday and Sunday, and everything is split into two columns. So your daily schedule is two columns. Your to-do list is two columns for each day. Your water intake, your fitness activity, and your meals, they're all in two columns, which makes them so that the columns are, you have a little less area to write in because they're skinny. And this is what the weekly meal prep looks like. You have a section for each day of the week. You'll have a recipe, and then you'll have a place to do a grocery shopping list. So it's a really great planner. Really, this has everything in it you could possibly want. You will not need multiple planners if you have the plan because it's just so full of everything. Even the daily layout, you have your workouts, your meal plans, your to-do list, your schedule. You have a place to do gratitude and different things. You even have quotes at the bottom. So there is just so much in here. Mid-year, you will have the opportunity to go over a redesign, and this is basically where you can reset your goals. I know for me, it's, you know, life can change a lot in six months, and so my goals, even for long term, can totally change, and I love that she gives you the opportunity to go through and adjust those goals for you. So this is what it looks like all throughout the year. It's really, really a great planner. After your 12 months, you do have these monthly full page, I'm not showing them very well, but you do have these monthly full page calendars that you can put future plans in. And I love that you have, it's not a ton of space, but for future planning, it's more space than most planners give you. And I love that you can write in birthdays or different things that you know are going to happen. She I really, really love her covers. I think it's one of the things that I love most about this company. And so at the end, she does do an artist feature for each of the cover designers. And then she has a folder. Now this folder is not like the most hefty folder. It's pretty flimsy, but it's great for putting in just a couple of papers, receipts, different things like that. And here is the back of the cover. So this is a really cute cover. I really, really love it. If you want that more blue, purpley color scheme, you do have to get the cover I just showed, which is the Roslyn. All the other covers have her pink color scheme in the inside, and I really love, really, really love the color, the cover that's on this one, and it's the Jenny. So the Jenny is adorable, and the front pages are the same in the simple plan versus the full plan, the plan versus the simple plan. So you have mostly the same, I should say. But yeah, you have all of the monthly organization that you get to, or the big plan, the dates to remember. And you can see that it's a little bit more pink inside the passwords, the notes pages, and then it goes into the month. So you start off with a notes page on the simple plan, and then you go into your monthly, which has all the pink things in it, where in the other one, they were like that blue purple color. And this is a weekly. So where the other one's a daily, the simple plan is a weekly. You can put events and then to-do lists. And these little cute icons underneath that remind you to exercise and have self-care, meditate, and meal prep, all those sorts of things that you want to remember throughout the day. And you can just check mark them, cross them off, color them in, do whatever you want. Red line items at the end, so things that are important for you to get done during the week. 
And then when you turn the page, she has a weekly meal prep. And it's interesting how she does this because sometimes it's at the end of the week and sometimes it's before just to make the layout work right. And she'll have those weekly recipes in here as well, which I love. So you can see there's two weeks together and then two meal preps together. And it just makes the layout work. So I love, I actually don't mind that at all. We have a grocery list on there as well. And a little note section on the weekly, just really well laid out. I love the quotes that she's chosen. And then you can set goals at the beginning of every month here in the different areas of life. At the end of June, she does have a mid-year refresh, just like the last one, where you can reset those goals, re-decide if you need to add anything to your goals or take anything away. And then at the end of this planner, you have the same big planner goals. You have a reflection page. You have those future planning full page calendars, which I love. And then you can meet the artists as well here. And I think that's really neat that she features them. The little icons that are throughout the planner are on the, the folders, by the way, and it's really cute. So I love this cover. I think it is adorable. Let's do a little pen test. I am going to write with each of these popular pens that I have. And then at the end, I'll flip it over and show you what bled through. So honestly, this paper is really great. It's um, pretty mild liner friendly. It's not as much zig clean color dot friendly. So I think if you were to use the more pastel colors of the zig clean color dots, I think you'd be fine. But using a really vibrant one like I did, and mine, there's some of mine that are just more inky than others, and I used a really inky, vibrant one, and it bled through. So I wouldn't recommend those unless you want to get the pastel colors or the light ones, or maybe after it's not quite so inky and puddly like mine is, um, maybe you'd be able to use it. But for now, it's not like the most Zig Clean Color Dot friendly, if I can say that enough. Other than that, the pens do great. They don't really ridge too much. There is no bleeding on these popular pens. I ran out of ink on that one. <laughs> That's why I didn't finish. So here you can see, it's not like the, the darkest color, but it is a very inky one, almost puddly. And it does bleed through pretty bad on this. So there I did one and then I double layered the mild liner. And so on the next page, we'll be able to see how it works with most of these pens and you can see that the zig clean color dot bled through on the one dot and the two but the mild liner you can't see at all and the other pens are just fine so um just full transparency that it's not the best with those and i know that they're really popular at least for me they're like one of my favorite things so i'd have to i would probably oh here i'm gonna test out a lighter one to see that one's actually pretty puddly as well but let's see if that one, I thought maybe a different color wouldn't bleed, but it does. <laughs> so just not the best for this planner. But mild liners work great. So I would probably just do little check marks like I used to do with my mild liner if I were to use it. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys. And it means, it means a lot to me that you're always here. If you are interested in ordering this amazing, like, has everything planner, I do have a coupon code. It's HANDCANPLAN10, and I will leave a link below and that code below too as well. So if this is some, a planner that it looks like it would be perfect for you, and honestly, if you're looking for a one and done, this is it. This is a good one. I would highly suggest you go check it out. She has other things on her account or on her website as well that are so cute. So, so cute. So go check her out and I will talk to y'all very soon. See ya. Bye.